Hi, this is Josh again with Sibelius Tutorials. This week we are starting a series with working with sound sets inside Sibelius. A sound set allows you to use third-party libraries as your playback device in Sibelius for libraries such as Garrison, East-West Quantum Leap, Vienna Strings, Native Instruments, and more. This allows you to have a more realistic playback when working with your scores, instead of using general MIDI or Sibelius sounds that comes with your software. A sound set is what allows Sibelius to communicate with the third-party library. This tutorial covers how to install an East-West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra sound set to play back an East-West Quantum Leap library. You can purchase sound sets for this library and others from Jonathan Lovin's page, soundsetproject.com. To install a sound set, first make sure Sibelius is closed and locate Sibelius' hidden folders. This is where you can manage your house styles, playback configurations, and other files. To find this location, please click on the links here to find this on a Windows or Mac operating system. On the left here, I have the Sibelius sound set for the East-West Quantum Leap library that I'm going to be installing for this tutorial. This sound set installation contains six folders. Documentation, which provides written explained instructions on how to install and work with your sound set. Sound set, which provides the sound set file that allows Sibelius to communicate with your third party library. House styles, which imports information that provides us with custom instrument staves for each instrument of the third party library. Playback configurations, which has a pre built playback configuration that will work with your library. Manuscript templates, which contains a manuscript file that has a custom setting and house styles needed to load a score with East West Quantum Leap or your sound set as your playback device easily from the quick start menu. And patches, which contains patches to load your third party libraries in your player to work with the playback configurations that came with your sound set. If any of the folders are not available, you can create the folder and just make sure that you name them correctly. Let's go ahead and install this together. The files we need to copy over into the hidden folder directory are the sound set, house style, playback configuration, and the manuscript file for this specific sound set. Let's first copy over the sound set. If you do not see the sounds folder located in this location, just create a folder by control clicking or right clicking to choose a new folder on a Mac, or just by right clicking and choosing new, and then choosing folder on Windows. Once the sound folder is created, Copy over the sound set. The next file we need to install is the house style. Once again, if this folder has not yet been created, please create one named house styles as exactly shown here and copy over the house style. The playback configurations folder will always be here, as it always contains Sibelius' default playback configurations. Copy over the sound set playback configuration if this applies. Next, copy over the manuscript paper template if your sound set provides one. If you do not have the manuscript paper folder, please go ahead and create one. And last, we have patches. This needs to be installed in the same directory as a third party library. Once you have copied over all the files, you have successfully installed your sound set. You can now open your Sibelius software and start to use your third party library inside your music notation software. Please stay tuned for our next tutorial going further into working with sound sets and our part two of this series. Thanks again for watching Sibelius Tutorials. Keep enjoying our tutorials and make sure to like and subscribe to show your support. I'll see you guys next week.